We will have some fun here with algebra. We're looking at ax squared plus bx plus c, a quadratic equation representation. You can easily derive the quadratic formula from this. What is a quadratic formula? It's a representation for the value of x, whether it's real or imaginary. How can you start your derivation procedure? You'll use completing by the square technique on this. You're going to push the c on the other side, and from here you'll isolate a. You'll isolate a, you have x squared plus b over ax. I have here a minus c because it went on the other side. Push the a on the other side and it'll divide by this. You'll have a minus c over a. Bring in your term where how do you know what that term is? Focus right here at b over a. You'll do b over a times 1 over 2 and you'll square. This is your part of completing the square technique. b squared over 4a squared is what you get. You'll add it on this side and on this side. And when you do it, keep in mind the a has been pushed over here. You don't have to worry about it. You have x squared plus bx over a plus b squared over 4a squared plus b squared over 4a squared. You add it on both sides to maintain balance. Now erase this. You're going to proceed with your procedure. Now what does that mean? You're looking over here. Completed. You have a x plus b over 2a whole square. If you were to open up this, expand this, you'll end up exactly over here, is equal to, look here, I have a b squared over 4a squared minus c over a, I'm looking at the positive term first, the negative term second, common denominator here is 4a squared, I have a b squared minus a comes in here four times, it times with that c, minus 4ac, push the square on the other side, I have a x plus b over 2a is equal to plus and minus square root b squared minus 4ac, divided by square root of 4a square and there's nothing wrong with you separating your square root into numerator and denominator as a property of radicals now look what was the essence of this whole technique when you look over here you have a x square you have a x if i told you to solve for x from here it's difficult you have two different types of x's when i tell you to solve for the x now you only have a single type of x and that's x to the power of one it's simple algebra here push this on the other side x is equal to minus b over 2a i'm writing this term first plus and minus I have a square root b squared minus 4ac divided by the perfect root coming out from here as a 2a. I have a common denominator, a same denominator. Bring everything under a unifying denominator. You have a 2a. You have a minus b plus and minus. This part here, you're writing your numerator terms. You'll have a b squared minus 4ac. And this right here represents your quadratic formula. And the value of x is derived. The formula is derived. And it's good.